What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Over 4. In this video we're going to be doing strip down. So we're going to be doing a step by step guide on what you would need to do if you come to the point where you want to strip your DeLorean right back down again so you can add some of those cool mods you've been seeing. So the first thing we need to do is to take off the rear parts on the exhaust cowl. So where we have it here we just need to undo the two screws either side and that is pushed out by just a flat head screwdriver here just to get it off those tabs just like so. Then you just need to go ahead and do the other side. You can't take that fin out yet. You just need to wait and then you'll be able to take that out in a moment. So the next thing you need to do is just do the other side. So you want to obviously do the other side here because what's happening here is these exhaust cowl bottom ends are holding this back plate onto the vehicle. So what you need to do is just get those off. Just push it lightly with a screwdriver as you can see here. Uh, you can mask anything up that you're worried that you might scratch and they just pop off just like that. We will fast forward through a few of the bits that we're going to do on this but hopefully you'll be able to see enough to know how to strip it down. You just need to disconnect the pipes, any of the wires that are connected to the back of the vehicle there because this piece here is sat in and it's all connected but remember this is why I told you not to super glue anything in at this point if you are thinking about stripping your vehicle down because this is now a perfect time to uh, be able to take everything off really easily so just with a small flathead screwdriver I'm just prizing everything away that we've pushed in so far and with that we should be able to lift that away nice and easy so we're just going to go ahead and do that now the first thing before pulling it off the back of it, you need to take these fins out. They are just slid in. Uh, they aren't brilliantly easily to get out, but you can just sort of just use a flathead screwdriver again just to just help ease them and just keep them together. What I do recommend for you uh, if you are doing strip down on the DeLorean is to put all the pieces you take off in sections into bags and label them up. This is what I have done on this. So you will see that throughout the video of me doing that. Once you're happy with it and you have all those back pieces off and everything's disconnected, you just need to slide the back piece off. If there's any more wires that are connected, just check before yanking it off and then just disconnect as you go. Remember that this is connected with a wire underneath and that is the one that lights up the orange glow on the back of the, uh, the pad, which is the circular piece. You need to make sure that that's disconnected, so just don't go and pull it off quickly. I'm just going to show you which ones are connected. So these are all the ones that were connected on so if you want to just use this video as a guide to help you remove all the pieces then you can and then this will help you through once you have done that the next thing we're going to be doing is taking off the uh, the back pieces here so this is the top this is the top bit where the wires go that glow up uh, the sides on each side so what I'm going to do is just disconnect them for now and then we're going to get on to what we're going to disconnect afterwards the pipes at the bottom can come off as one piece so this two top sections here you can do that so that you just take it off as one piece I haven't really finished these off really well I have only just still got the wire on there and stuff like that but I can now be able to install Mike Lane's uh, cable tie the mini cable ties so they can go on there and stuff like that so it's a good opportunity to do stuff like that once you're happy with it and it's disconnected you will have to just lift these up and turn these around in a moment we will show you how to do that just so you can see but we will just be disconnecting some other bits as we go along what you need to do is when you're taking off the um, the pieces that hold the flux bands on what you will need to do is un disconnect every single screw on the side of the vehicle uh, but you will need to undo the ones that are only held on by the little black tabs you don't need to undo the whole thing I will show you what I mean in a moment once you're happy with the top bit you will need to disconnect it from this terrible um, glow uh, wire which is connected to that horrible LED and that is just done by taking these two screws off off and then releasing it from the light itself and then you will need to just pull them off uh, so that they're not connected anymore uh, if you are using these again and putting them back on obviously just be careful when you're doing it because you will need to put it all back together but you should be able to do it in sections like this where we can just you know put them back on when we want to there you go so once you're happy with that what we need to do is just go down the line and disconnect these side pieces but remember like I said only disconnect the ones that are connected to the vehicle themselves and then that should slide off as one whole piece so we can just put those back on when we need to so just put that to the side I did put the left and the right side 
uh, in separate bags just to keep them separate and keep all the screws with them as well to so keep them all in the clear bag so you know that them all them screws go back on in that section there so there you go i know that we've already done the top piece and that's already been taken apart just wanted to show you this bit um just on the sides there before we went and moved on right so now that we have um those pieces off from the top you want to just make sure like i said just keep them somewhere safe and they should look just like that so make sure you put the screws back in and just keep those tabs that hold the clear um you know clear tubes make sure that they're screwed back in and kept safe because they are different screws to the other ones that are holding them to the roof of the vehicle. So you just wanna make sure you've got those out the way so that you don't lose any of the pieces. So there you go. So just put them in a clear bag and I've got a pile of bits which I'm gonna to keep to the side. And then we can watch this video back in reverse to know which goes where. And we also have the magazines if we need to go back to it. Right, so the next thing I did is turn the vehicle upside down. Please make sure you put this on something. I've just got a purple towel here. Um, you don't have to use a purple towel. You can use whatever towel you like. But we've got the purple towel, which is folded over a few times, and then we turn the vehicle upside down. You can tape the doors and the bonnet up uh, just so they don't fly open and break anything when you're doing that, when you're turning it upside down. But you need to put it on something safe. You can also put it on anything. I did have polystyrene sheets, but I ended up getting rid of those. And you just want to remove all the screws that you're seeing in this video here. So we're just doing this in real time just so you can see which ones are coming off. You will need to undo those plates which are holding in that clear tubing again because we're gonna to have to disconnect all this. But if you just do it this way around, it will allow you to take the vehicle apart in nice easy bulk sections just so you don't have to just strip and do everything again. Again, here at the bottom, I didn't get chance to add the mic lane cable ties. So again, when this section is off, I'm gonna just work on that separately and then I will be able to put the cable ties on and do it as neat as I want to because I was just rushing to sort of like just get the videos out just to put it up, just to show you how it went together. But now I can go back and finalize everything to make it perfect, which is what I wanna do. Okay, so here we've just got the top bits there, which will reveal that it's connected to the LED here. Again, if you want to, you can just pull them away. They just come away really easily. And the reason I'm pulling mine off to not put them back on again is because we're going to install um, the power mod from um, Model Mods. And we're also going to be installing the EL wire mod as well. So this is going to light up and look really good once it is done and it's complete. As you can see here, just need to copy the other side, make sure that you just take the top cover off as you can see there. And then I'm just showing you in real time that they can be a bit fiddly. You are probably better off just using the screwdriver just to ping them off, there you go. But once you are done with it, make sure you put all your pieces back together again. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment in another short clip, just so that you keep everything together. So that is that one section. You will need to disconnect it here. So this is why we're doing this video. So you make sure you don't just pull things off and break it um, but there you go so you just need to pull those two connectors off there they just clicked in so if you've got some nails you should be able to do that nice and easy once you have that piece off do put back on the ends so we're going to show you that now so put the ends back on there it's just to keep them out of the way so you know what screws go where and then you can just pop that into a bag and just put that out of the way just so you know that that is this that for is for that section so we're just going to pop that in the bag now just to show you obviously that we don't need to show you put it in a bag but just want to show you the ones that we got uh, that we've used so that you can they got a little label thing on there so you can label them up if you want to but with the video it should help you guide you through right so now on to the uh, side section so what we need to do is just take off these uh, silver bars here which are underneath which are holding on the uh, side bits which have the black piping in there and also which have um, the wires that come off uh, down the side of the lorry in front and back. So once you've disconnected those, you just need to take the screws off. This one is being a nightmare and doesn't want to come off. We're just gonna move over to the other side and remove those. And then once we have done that, then that is loose enough. And that is the only thing on the bottom of the vehicle that you'll need to take off. And then you can just flip it back around again and work from it from the top. So this is the only two sections where you're gonna need the vehicle upside down and the rest of it you'll be able to do back up around the right way so now that is done guys what we're going to do is move on to removing those side pieces they just pull out because again if you haven't glued them in and you just pushed them in like i did they should be easy enough to just take away it's better to do it to remove the center pieces and try to take it off as one because one of the side pieces at the back is uh, stuck on so we will need to remove that 
by using the Stanley blade and I will show you what I mean by that in a moment uh, but it will go back together and look absolutely perfect and you won't need to worry about it that just needs to be removed there from uh, the band underneath just make sure you keep it in place and then you can just pull them off uh, again they are stuck on with the clear bands that have that terrible glow you know the one that's supposed to be uh, the replacement the the thing that was has been replaced sorry for the el wire um but the band on this is just absolutely terrible which is why we need to go and do this so there you go but right, again that is held in by a clip here which has got two um screws holding that band on into place and obviously it's holding it to that led so you just need to pull them off away from that led there and then just make sure you put everything back onto that section bag it up and keep it. You can do the two front sections if you want to and just put them in there like that, which is what I have done. And then make sure all the relevant screws are in there for you to put this back together. This is finger starting to get pretty naked now um, and it's definitely on strip down. So here is where this wire on the back of the rear quarter is connected in uh, into that section. You can't take it off because what it does is it tells you to tie this up and put it around. And because I've obviously used the mic lane cable ties, to hold it all together. It's gonna to be a bit of a nightmare to take that off. So what I did is I pulled it through a little bit and then I cut down with the Stanley knife just to cut it away slightly. And with it being cut away, that has allowed me to just be able to take this off in one section. With the other uh, black pipe, as you can see there, that was just pushed in to the top of the, uh, or the back of the vehicle. Just make sure you get it loose. I missed one of the black wires when I was cutting through the wire, um, so I just have to go back through and cut that again. Um, so I'm just showing you in real time, obviously just try and make sure you cut through really neatly. Don't scratch anything, use a crafting knife if you can, but you can put this back on. Don't think, oh you've cut it, it's going to not go back on, because the bit where it goes underneath, all that you do is just put these underneath uh, one of the things that's held on by two screws and then they just stay down. But we're, we'll show you what we mean when we do a recap video on this to, to put it all back together into one piece. Right, so when you're done, you can just get rid of these bands, just pull them off the LEDs, just hold them tight and just pull them because they're only just pushed on. Uh, if you're going to use them, obviously keep them out of the way to put them back on again. Uh, but if you're going to go for the EL wire, then you can just um, get rid of them or just keep them for something else if you want to. You need to disconnect this little back pipe here because we are now going to take this piece of tubing off. If you did what I did on this back bit where all the wires are held in individually, where you had to do them color by color, I super glued them in onto that black base plate that is held onto the back. So this all will come away as one section. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. So we just need to lift that up and out of the way. With the Mike Lane cable ties, as you can see, the mini cable ties here, it holds it all into place, so it keeps it all as one. So it's going to be so much easier when we're putting it back together. But as you can see, all my wires are glued into that top section because I glued the two pieces together when I did it, just so that it's all in there and they're all in the relevant colours that they need to be. Once you've done that, we will now need to move on to the front section. You just need to undo a certain amount of screws on this. So there's just two screws that are, hot, that are held on to the front bumper, which only are on the brackets themselves. You don't need to disconnect the ones that hold all of the front bumper together, only the bits that are holding it to the vehicle itself, which we will show you in a moment once we have them off. We're just gonna fast forward through a couple of them. And as I said, make sure you keep all your screws together. You don't wanna lose these because you need those for when you will be putting it back together uh, at a later stage. So once we've done the last one, we'll show you what we mean by this, keeping it all as one together uh, on that piece. So there you go. So this now sec this section here will just now pull out like that. And it was just, it's kept in one piece. And yeah, so you just wanna keep it like that. And then you won't lose where, what goes where. And you know, you'll know what section's gotta go on afterwards. They are just the uh, the clear tubes again, which we're gonna take off. We're just gonna call them clear tubes because they're absolutely terrible. Once you have done that, you just need to pull that away. That's really easy to come out. And you just need to take the, um, the three screws out which are holding that bit on. And then those uh, LEDs will pull out which are just sitting in there. And then that is that section complete. Don't pull these LEDs hard because they won't tolerate it and they will be pulled off the back of the wires. Uh, so just be careful when you're doing that. Once you've done that to remove the bumper itself, you just need to take those three screws out there. 
and then you should be able to just pull the bottom section where the spoil the bottom spoiler is because you want to just be careful because that is slid in uh, underneath the wings so you just want to just be careful there make sure you prise it off nicely and just wiggle it away uh, and then just just be careful with this because you just don't want to break it and then you just pull it down like this and then it is connected on through the light hole on the uh, passenger side and you just need to disconnect those wires there so just pull them through the ones that you tucked up out of the way and they're all still labeled up so if you want to put this back together you will know what the labels are and where, where they go because they do have the numbers still on them but just it's just so much easier just to take this off you don't have to build this up again to put it on it's literally ready to go so just put that in a bag with those screws and you'll know that them bits go on that bit first the bits that are pulled through on the patch on the driver side light sorry are just connected as well you need to disconnect those because when you go to pull the frame away from um, the base you will need these disconnected and they will snag so just make sure that they're connected disconnected as well go grab yourself another small flat head screwdriver a really small one and just put it underneath the back edge if you're worried about cutting it or anything like that or scratching the paintwork do put masking tape where you're going to prise it off but i had no troubles here getting this piece removed really easily once you've taken that back trim off that will reveal the three screws that are holding the back bumper onto place and then you just need to go ahead and remove those so we're just going to go and remove those now we'll just do this in real time just so you can see that it doesn't even take that long to do this is actually the screwdriver that it came with when we started building the DeLorean. So this is screwdriver number one when we had it a few years ago and it's still in action, still working. It's not great. It's not the best screwdriver in the world. You guys have probably got your precision ones and uh, you know your, your decent ones that take this apart. So you can get this apart in no time anyway. But once you're happy with that, you just need to take those three screws off. And then as soon as you start taking the third one out, you will see that the bumper just wants to pull away from the rear of the vehicle anyway and it will just start to reveal everything that's behind there again like i said this is not held together by a lot if you do it in sections as we are because you got to remember when we are building it together we were building these pieces up to then put them on but now it's easier because all we have to do is just take them off in the big sections that are already built so here we have the wires coming through which are connecting all the rear lights and everything like that again just disconnect don't worry about any of the wires um, you know not being in the right place the reason being is because they are all labeled up if your numbers are still there if you pulled your numbers off then i have no idea why you did that but you could just leave the numbers on so that you can just keep, keep taking this off and on again whenever you want to so there you go so i've got a passable number plate which is uh, courtesy of mike lane really nice one but right, once you've done that you do need to take off the side trims because these are going to reveal two of the major screws that hold in the frame to the body so just lift your door up take off those side screws these are the ones that i've put the magnet mods on for the seal panel uh, magnets which are which are held on here and as you can see there and um, then ones are just holding that on again get the flathead screwdriver just get it under the edge when you are ready and you can just prize that so what i did is just went into the back wheel arch there just pulled it a little bit and then the whole thing came away like that so nice and easy again if you want to label it left and right i do think they might already be labeled left and right anyway and then you will just be able to put those into a bag what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and take off the major screws underneath that are holding the chassis uh, body to the actual chassis base itself so you just want to make sure that you undo all those what we're going to do is we're just going to undo these two big ones here at the side and then we're going to zoom in and show you where each one of them are just in case you didn't remember this video is just here as a guide to show you how you can get this apart easily without having to flick through all the magazines just something for you to do if you are doing strip down like me ready to add some more of those amazing mods or if you want to do any maintenance on the vehicle that you forgot to do when doing it so the back ones are here, so they're there and there. I don't know if you can see, you can pause the video if you need to. On the sides, there's a big one there, and then also just one up here on the side there. And then the front two are just, wait for it, uh, there on the right-hand side there, so you can see that, and then on the left-hand side there. And then again, when the, the ones that we did the video on are the two that are here, and they are the ones that have been removed to do that. Right, guys, we are now on to the final stage, and this is the bit that everybody tends to find real difficult. I kind of just sort of 
ease everything up just push the um the front lights in there the little leds in there out the way and there you go so that they're just out the way you just want to make sure that everything starts to just come away you don't want to start with the front i'm just making sure that um the front is um loose enough so i'm just sort of just prizing it up just getting it up there you want to remove it from the rear and then lift it off to the front which we'll show you in a moment but don't get too carried away with this because all those wires are connected to this frame so just be careful when you are doing this section. So as you can see here, we're just lifting up and away. What we tend to do is just hold it, to hold the body down. There you go. So just lift that section up so that that one just lifts away. There it is. And then lift the front up there. Make sure those wires are tucked up out of the way. Then lift the back up just slightly. And there you go. So it lifts away just like that. So you just prise it off nicely. And then just turn it to the side. That's why I've got a towel there. Make sure you've got the towel on the passenger side ready for you to lift the frame onto it. So you could just sit there on there nicely. And what we did, as you saw there, we just lifted the front of the frame up. And then we pulled the back of the frame and then we just sort of unscooped it from the front and then just pulled it up from the back. And then that way, that's how you do it. You don't want to lift it from the side until the back and the front is off. And you saw how easy that was to do. This is all in real time. We haven't sped this up or done anything to this. This is this is the first time that it's come off since it was put together. So there you go. Once you've disconnected all of the cables, you are pretty much home free and you can work on any of the other pieces. Guys, you have been watching Strip Down. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.